Hello everyone. My what is up, my migraineurs? Statistically, it's like 20% of people watching this video. But uh, I'm in the science, of course, aka Enzo Carter. And right now, I'm in the Florida Keys, in between Marathon and like I think Ohio Key, because I'm walking on the old Seven Mile Bridge. Because I'm currently like running away from light pollution, so I can take one of those cool photos of Polaris, where you like leave the exposure on for a long time, but you don't actually track the stars, and then you just like get all the stars rotating so yeah that's where i'm headed i'm just dragging my tripod and my camera across the bridge and going all the way to bortle three skies which sounds nice considering coming from a bortle five um the milky way will not be viewed because there's a giant cloud right next to where it should be i think i can see polaris now which is nice so there's hope for the actual image i'm going for there is of course a highway to my left that's the actual seven mile bridge or the newer one or whatever that one well my pictures are going to be coming from the opposite direction so i don't have to worry about it anyway i'll i'll get back to you guys soon i'm almost at the end of the bridge okay i have reached the end or almost the end of the old seven mile bridge there's like a island over here this is pigeon key that's the moon over there and that's all the clouds and that's about where the milky way is so i'm not gonna be able to see that Right above it, we have Anataris and the gang. You can't see it, it's fine. Anyway, but uh, over here is what's important, because over here is where we have... Uh, can't see it, but that's okay. Over here is where Polaris is, and that's where I'm going to take my pictures. Probably not going to end up well, because of all the clouds that are over here, but I don't really care. I'm just happy to be all the way out here, because it looks great elsewhere. You can't see any of it, sorry. All right, I just started the first 30 second exposure. That's as high as my camera goes before I just have to basically hold down the thing until it works. But uh, yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Again, the embers of the sunset. It was a very nice sunset. You might get some pictures of that in a minute. Uh, Venus, I focused on Venus. It looked very nice. You might get pictures of that as well. Anyway, so above me, oh, it just finished. Let's see how this looks. That was very bright, but I got a lot of detail there. I think I might just keep repeating this. I'll do like three or four. I probably should zoom it out a bit. That'll probably help. I mean, it would curve slower. Well, what's that? So for all those who might not be familiar with what I'm doing, essentially, uh, because the earth spins that's why like the sun goes across the sky and, it, and the stars move and stuff you have this problem where if you have a telescope zoomed way in on an object let's say venus that venus will slowly drift across the sky and if you're taking a really long exposure of an object like if you're trying to make and if you're trying to you know do astrophotography of a deep sc space object like some nebula or galaxy it's a problem because it's going to get all blurry now, the solution for this is to put it on a mount that sort of tracks the sky. That, like, curves with the... That, yeah. It's sort of... This this camera will not focus for shit. <laughs> okay, well, let's look at something dark that it doesn't have to focus on. So, basically, your mount, it's called an equatorial mount, will kind of tilt with the tilting of the sky and counteract it. So that way your image uh, stays still. Well, this is basically doing the opposite of that. Now, I'm actually looking due north right now. And because of that, Polaris is in the sky. Now, Polaris is a star. It's the North Star. Why is it the North Star? Because it's approximately at where, the, where our northern axis is. Or the axis that the planet turns on. So if you walked all the way to the North Pole and looked straight up, it would be straight up. Because that's like... Because that's where the axis... That we turn on this and because of this all the stars sort of rotate around it so if you wanted to make a cool picture you could just repeatedly you could take a really long exposure of polaris and what that would do is it would make all the stars sort of rotate around polaris which is sort of what i'm trying to make now i'll let you how that turns out it's probably going to end up terrible but i mean we're going to try all right, I have finished taking all the pictures that I want. 
as well as some other pictures, which we'll see in a second. Uh, I'm just starting the two mile walk back to where my car is. So yeah, that's what I'm doing now. Because I'm carrying my like tripod and stuff, I'm not only exercising my legs by walking, also my biceps by, you know, holding the tripod. Yeah. So astrophotography, great full body workout. 